music. Brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. I own 100% of Barcelona Sports. The sun, the moon, the Milky Way. It is getting so close, I can taste it. We can take a bite out of it. This is exactly, and I mean exactly, why Barstool Sports has to exist. It has to. All right, it's Thursday, September 7th. Barstool Radio coming to you live from Barstool, New York. Tommy's back. Miss anything yesterday? Uh, you, for, for a guy who fucking loves this. I know, I've I had like you bad missed, timing. You missed the, um, the, the, the layoff day, and then yeah. you missed this. Well, I had the novel coronavirus, and then I was in Chicago yesterday. Everybody who, Masters. you know, thoughts and prayers to everyone getting the coronavirus in 2023. Yeah, the that's the most work. Tommy thing you've I'll tell you what, it was a lot worse than when I had it the first time. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that like, was a new strain, that Tommy I think it is Tommy a new strain. strain. I mean, Sleepy Joe probably fucking set it out to, re- to re-win the election. <laughs> Election year coming up, better fucking talk to Wuhan, get the new strain. The new strain. Find those mail in ballots. Baby. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna crack down the mail in ballots. How about another virus? Also, um, happy phase six to you, Tommy. Thank you. Thank what you. What is phase six? When it's me? Oh my God! Someone doesn't watch my TikToks. <laughs> he liked it though. Oh yeah, I don't watch. He it. he yeah. He, uh, he likes everything. So if you ever. It actually hurt. Like you need the watch time. I will say this. Oh really? I'll say this for a second. I thought Tommy made a TikTok bragging about inventing months. But <laughs> the first half of the video, he's just ex- yeah, describing just months. months. He's like, the first phase of the year is from January to February. And the second one is from February to March. No, I, but I it does, it it's up. eight phases, and they really do, it really is a good breakdown uh, of like, the good parts of the year, the bad parts of the year. Phase seven and phase eight are just two weeks. <laughs> no, phase seven is the second you get home on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve okay. through Christmas Day, the, a.k.a. the holidays. Yeah. You know, eggnog. But, but then phase eight is from so, Christmas to New Year's. That's but like I think days. that one week of, like, Christmas to New Year's, at least for us because we always have it off, but I feel like a lot of people have it off or take it off. It's a very distinct week where, yeah. like, yeah, time yeah, yeah. kind of feels weird. Yeah. Like, you're not really doing and anything. And the most important thing is phase one, AKA, you know, New Year's Day, let's call it, starts after the Super Bowl, that, that dark period after the Super Bowl. Not it, January. No, phase one starts the day you get back to work, January 2nd, 3rd. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Goes through the I Super Bowl. I thought phase Bowl. one was. Because I think there's like an energy of New Year, New Me. I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Resolutions. You still got playoff football, Super Bowl. And then phase two, the dark days, they call it, okay. is the day after the Super Bowl until uh, the Saturday where it's usually like March Madness and St. Patty's Day. And it's kind of like. Solid phase. Yeah. yeah. And then St. Patty's Day. I would love to watch this video. <laughs> yeah. St. Patty's Day. 1.3 through, million uh, on TikTok. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what, what's St. Patty? What's Phase Three though? That's a Phase big Three. St. Right? Patty's Day until Memorial. Memorial Day. Day. That's AKA the biggest the one. Spring. That is, but that is also, <laughs> dude. When you're when you're working a shitty job, there's no holidays. Yeah. In that in that time period, it sucks dick. I didn't want to bring it just up. Like we're going to work. I don't know how else you fucking day. Up. Yeah, 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 no, no, you, yeah, yeah, you did it right. So that's that's Tommy's phases of the of the year. It's the most Tommy tism thing <laughs> of all time. It's like, oh, you sat down and you you've got this mapped out in your brain like every single day. How How girls really agreed this? with it. They oh, were like, they were like, she's such a relatable queen. I get a lot of I get a lot of those comments. <laughs> you do. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you're either like an old Jewish man or a young like internet girl. Sorority. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an old Jewish man mixed with a sorority Queen's girl. Tommy, I kind of like. Let's yeah. get into uh, the big debate, the big discussion. There are there's two things at Barstool I think you never want. One is getting absolutely bulldozed and demolished by Dave. And the other thing, I think, is beating Dave in an argument. And I think that's what we're seeing here with Clemmer. The worst thing that can happen for Clemmer's uh, quality of life and mental health and just like being a human is what's going on right now. Clemmer knows not to like talk shit or like, like he was very like, uh, how did I do? Like, did I survive? Am I going to get fired? And I was like, just keep your fucking head down now, you know? But the internet, the streets are calling him Quemmer. He <laughs> takes no L's. He's got it, you know, a big That's W funny. yesterday from Quemmer. <laughs> Sheriff Clemmer was out here. Um, he's 43 years old. He's going to go down swinging. Uh, and the internet liked that fire. I think I wouldn't have even said anything right now 
if it wasn't for Dave's blog last night, which I think is the biggest piece of evidence. The if you need to write a blog saying, did he body me on Barstool Radio and list out all of your arguments, I think that's because the argument on Barcelona Radio didn't go too well, right? Uh, I'll say that I was at the U.S. Open last night and saw that and was like, I'm going to stop watching Carlos Alcaraz for a little bit. I, <laughs> I got to read <laughs> this blog. Now, it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought I was like, holy shit, is Dave going to acknowledge that? Like, maybe, I didn't say acknowledge, but uh, yeah, acknowledge is the word. Um, acknowledge that maybe it didn't go, like, the best. And he didn't, obviously. No, he I mean, didn't. he acknowledged. I mean, if you thought that was going to happen, you're a crazy person. <laughs> he acknowledged that, like, the internet, the peons, yes. like, are. Here are we go. I, I yeah. was wondering if Tommy <laughs> was going to have a shred of dignity <laughs> or not. But so, I'm a, I'm really, earlier, Nate was like, oh, like, if you were there yesterday, like, you would have just been, like, great point boss. And I was like, yeah. I was like, and he's like, I would have been so mad. I was like, do you get mad when LeBron James dunks the basketball? That, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. If Dave has, like, Gaz texted me, he's like, what do you think? And I was like, just finished like wrapping up like couldn't agree more with every syllable Dave about it. But no, Clemmer ser like seriously, Clemmer is in a tough spot where there's nothing better than the internet sucking your dick. Like just taking that victory up. But when it coincides with your boss, your boss hating you. Yes. Which so I don't know what happens is he Dave I will read that stuff and he will in his mind picture and I, I don't know, I'm speaking for myself is what I do. He'll picture Clemmer reading all that and celebrating, and then he'll get more mad at Clemmer. Yeah. And then it's like, dude, Clemmer's, like, Clemmer's not I'm saying not that, right? Anything. But yeah, that's why, like, I remember the, the, the genesis of Team Portnoy was, I don't even know why they were doing it, but Bob Fox and Trent came on radio and were like, we're KFC guys. Like, we would ride for KFC. We're Team KFC. And Dave went nuts, and that was the, he was like, Team Portnoy is this, 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 and this. And I remember going to them and being like, I'm very flattered, and like I will always like help you, and we well, can why always. Why the hell did you say that? <laughs> but I said, shut the fuck up, because the la I don't want this, and you don't want this, and who cares? So all you're doing is making this worse for yourself. So Clemmer is probably scrolling, and it's all you know, walking W Clemmer and all that shit. But he's probably like, shh, shh, shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like, stop tagging Dave, you know, like he doesn't it, like. But Dave but it also thousand replies to his tweets, being like, Clemmer dog one. <laughs> Bro, he was he uh, he was trending. I think Clemmer had like you know a couple thousand tweets last night. You know, I, um, I, I when it, when he when Clemmer first sits down, I have like a big smile on my face, and I because I thought Clemmer came in hot. A little too hot, like he wasn't matching anyone's energy. Yes. But then I was like, I was of course like, I'm gonna say that there. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're just talking. But then I was like, he's do like I was like, I, I, I get. I I, I started it on the other side, and I still remain largely on the other side of him in the argument. I think he misread the tweet, but I was like, he's making fair points. I didn't. Uh, this is a uh, this is some. Uh, I think the quote always gets attributed to Benjamin Franklin, but it's not him. The the classic like I don't agree with what what you're saying, but I'll defend to the Thomas Henry, uh, I believe. You're, the right Thomas to say Payne? it, yeah. Huh? One of those guys. Nathaniel. Um, I, I absolutely, I still, I will never think that that tweet was a bad tweet. But I do think Clemmer, I, I kept trying to reiterate that. I was like, Barstool is a place where we encourage people to write the blog or come into your office. And then the reaction can be whatever the reaction is. Dave has yeah. every right to just be like, shut the fuck up. But I definitely don't want to go down the road of like, you can only say things according to your pecking order. Well, I think that's also a big issue with all of this. And I think it's one of those things that it just gets said so people keep thinking it. We're like, Dave's like Derek Jeter. I think with knowledge, the Mean Girls are not Derek Jeter. Right. I mean, right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a single leap up from Clemmer? Yeah, but, but, but I think you can still make the argument that, like, if you're talking about the 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 podcast being talked about doesn't necessarily have to be on a hierarchy. You know what I mean? I don't think Dave would have had a problem with. I don't think Dave in a vacuum is a problem with Clemmer going at the Mean Girls. I think it's what it was about. It was sort of what I took yeah. it, where it was like, well, that's going to really hurt their career, right? If people think that they're happy, people got laid off. I think if Clemmer was just like the Mean Girls are idiots for not believing in dinosaurs, that wouldn't. I yes, think that right. would have been an issue. So that's like, even though that podcast may not be huge. Dave's point of like a low-level person saying that about a podcast that would maybe stick and like ruin their reputation, that's he doesn't want that. Well, I the, where I always come back with Clemmer is like I, I think he did 
he, he I think he was wrong. I do not think that's what the tweet was about. Right. But like but it wasn't if, like if, inherently wrong what he was doing. Yeah. And that's what Dave right. yeah. Dave does think that. I think that's kind of the difference. I also think Clemmer is if I think listen, Dave hates Clemmer. <laughs> so it's very hard. <laughs> I think I think this is gonna come back around. So oh, do I. I, I actually I think I think I think Dave's gonna become a Clemmer guy. I I don't think that. I don't think he'll become a Clemmer guy. I think he will recognize and maybe not publicly state so, but just recognize that Clemmer is in the mix and yeah. he's part of the show now and he's a big part of the New York office and he's probably not going to be a, a huge earner or anything like that, but he is one of those guys. You know, Dave's always, we've always kind of said, like, either you make money or you make content and you're in the mix and you provide value. Clemmer absolutely is one of those guys. I think I could see how Dave wouldn't know that yet yeah. because, I mean, Clemmer's also a freak. I don't think yeah, we knew yeah, just also, how low Dave's opinion of Clemmer right, was. Right, right. Like, <laughs> and, he was like, and, you are the last person. I don't think we knew. That's that. really the issue. Yeah. Is like, and I, I mean, just admittedly, I was not, I was really not looking to, I love doing radio when it's like other people's shit. And I'm just like, ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, this is great. Uh, I, 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 I don't think Dave gets that, like, most people like Clemmer, really, yeah. to be honest. I mean, I think he came in being a weird Kirk freak and... <laughs> And then I, I was like, are you pro Minahan, not Minahan? Like, it was very they confusing. They have like a toxic relationship. Yeah, they really do. They really do. And he, whenever you ask him about it, he answers so earnestly. He's like, oh, Kirk's mad at me this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not happy with me. And then I'm like, yeah, things are great with Kirk right now. <laughs> I think he's, he's great and been a great addition. So, but I, if, if you truly viewed him as like the last, you know, you, you were this close to being fired, I could see. Part of me, I, I, I go back and forth on there are rules at Barstool that we kind of abide by. That's like anybody, anything goes. You can say whatever you want. But those are fantasy rules, you know? Yeah. So, like, in the real world, you can't write a blog about your boss or march into his office and say, fuck you, or, you know, do any of that stuff. And those are kind of the rules we abide by. But if the boss ever wants to just, like, pull those rules and be like, no, 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 you can't say whatever you want because you're nobody. Then, in reality, we're actually going back to what most people's rules are. You know what I mean? Right. If, if, if it's almost like this any, is a, I don't think we want that. No. Definitely. Well, that, 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 but that's, that's where you start towing that line, though, about right. what Dave was saying yesterday. I think, you know, you don't want that, but, that, but saying that, like, you know, you can only say certain things based on a hierarchy is... I think what it comes down to is that, like, I, and I think this is probably true of every company ever, but, like, it's its own ecosystem and language, and like there right. isn't a set of rules. And like you said, this is the feel. Right? There, you said it yesterday, the vibe, feel, yeah. like, like, and and it's you a dropped an emotional EQ. I hit it with an EQ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there. It's like no one is, no, you can't. There's no one you can't go at, but there are certain people you can't go at in certain ways, and it's just like I don't know. It's just having to deal with people. Like it's just yeah. the whole world. But, well, but then but it's but an extra every, layer of, every of Barstool being has a, its own rule, has yeah. its own like feel to it. And I think I this know. is just a, the most heightened, tense, yeah. weird one to deal with. But you you could really argue that having that gene is better than more more valuable here than like having the I content. Mean, talent. Gene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> real. yeah. For real. Serious. <laughs> like if you're not gonna have the best talent, <laughs> the next best thing is probably have. If you ask me, would you rather have like middle of the road, like or like upper above average talent, or like really really good like bar stool feel? It's probably. I mean, I I always think about that when Biz said that, where Biz is like, I think Biz's career was nine years or something like that. He's like, if I wasn't a likable guy, I don't have a nine year career. I would venture to guess. Biz wasn't in the locker room going, "Hey Sid, you fucking suck." Exactly. <laughs> that is but his he point. He bust his balls and like, yes. he knew, yes. like, I can handle this person this way, this person this way. It's just knowing how to deal with people. And that that, that is also the crux of the Mean Girl issue. I tried like so many times yesterday. I don't know if you noticed it. We're watching back. I was gonna I, name I would, a coyote, but I can't think of a. I guess Shane. Wiley. Dunn. Wiley. Shane Dunn. Coy- oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Wiley. <laughs> like Wiley the coyote. I thought you meant. <laughs> Like, I've got any coyote. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot he was on the coyotes. <laughs> I was, I was so was proud. So Wiley, Wiley. Wiley. I was like, that's it. <laughs> oh, you fucking you know, the, Tommy nailed it. Tommy got another one right. <laughs> you yeah, fucking me. moron. <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of Wiley the coyote? <laughs> 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 Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> God, this idiot's never heard of Wiley the Coyote. <laughs> that um, was fucking funny, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think the, the kind of the crux of the issue is 
if you really boil it all down, it is the difference of are you busting balls or was it you know, like a, a, a putting something on their reputation that could really harm them. And that's where I, I just think the, the whole discussion with Mean Girls is you, you have to either acknowledge that you don't like them or like these guys were reiterating to me, they're like, it's, we, it's not that we don't like them, it's just that they're not here and we, we, we treat everybody this way. And it's like, well, it's clearly something different has gone on because of all of this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think, like I think we, we said snowballed a couple times yesterday. I think it is like it's just snowballed. And I, I do understand because it is like there was the time we, we kind of touched on it, acknowledged it yesterday. Where like there was a time where it was like, well, Mean Girls don't come in, I and mean, then Colorado keeps coming, doesn't come in, and it's very weird. We that comparison seen, never made it sense. never made sense. Yeah. But like there was the at least like they kind of had a pop for a second. Now it is like, well, that that didn't come to fruition. I think everyone said that yesterday. I, so I, like you're just a grinder now. I know, but I also think that the reason why um, Colorado Addy comes up is they're the only other one that got this level of like Barstool versus. There's yeah, never, there's never yeah. been another show that people at bar store were like, "Fuck that." But I don't think I, people are sitting around like being like, "Fuck Alex and Jordan." Like we fucking hate. I mean, maybe sometimes it feels like that on Twitter, but like, I, I think the only, I think the biggest misstep the Mean Girls made was just not coming back to the office more yeah. after the Kelly. Key. Yeah, like but they I, just but, did but, it. But, I mean, but you no know radio. what they said very logically? They were like, "When we came to the office every day is when that blog was written about us." So like, that's not yeah. true either. I was here every day and we got shit on the most. So. I disagree with what their, their like strategy was, but when they said that to me, I was like, oh yeah. Like when we came, we got shit on. When we don't come, we don't get shit on. So we're just gonna do what's best. I do think if they like went on a rundown with Kelly together the day after, or the next day, or I guess the day Portno show didn't exist and this didn't exist, so it probably right. would have literally. But I also think that's where you know when when Dave was like, I didn't think that was gonna be a big deal. I was like, oh, you're crazy. I knew that was a huge deal from the fucking second that went up. Yeah. There, there, there was, that was never like a regular Busting Balls blog. That was like a, I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. I said it on that run. I, I didn't think like, it, was I didn't the think it would call be, out like, in Barstool history. This, though. Like, I didn't think it would like be that. I thought like, it'd be, all right, this is a pretty big one, but like, I thought they'd be, I didn't think it would. I just don't think there was been. ever, I, I don't recall in, in my time here ever a, a beef that was like, these people don't deserve to be at Barstool. Like this is not yeah. not funny enough. This is not good content, and it's not up to Barstool's par. It, you would like make fun of somebody of their content or specifically what they said, but I think that they vibe of got like, a, a a reputation that I don't think was deserved. That like it was scripted them. Yeah, like they were intentionally doing that stuff, and like I think I think at Barstool we look down upon that. Yeah, like. People but I scripting awesome. podcasts and I mean, stuff like that. She said to me just the other day, like just yesterday, she was like, "I just didn't know about the dinosaur." Oh, oh, no, oh, like, they, they where I was going. Yeah. It was I all genuine. Yeah, but yeah. I think, like once you right. get that thing, I'd be like, "Oh, they're faking everything." Yeah, and I was like, "No, dude, it's just a fucking weird thing." I thought. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm dumb about most. I'm dumb. I'm dumb about 99 percent of the things. I didn't right. know that one. And 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 then, then there's two, like the two other big things are, they got a ton of. This all boils down to gas, to be honest. You got a ton of press on the blog, and when you are a grinder and you're not getting shine on the social media accounts and, and po posted on the main account, and these girls are, that breeds, you know, like. And I get that too. Oh, I think they also like every in, meeting. In, I think like, you gotta be like. I was gonna yeah, say there was yeah. like a string of like, company he did meetings not, that yeah, were. Yeah, they, like, they, 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 that, they did not do them any why? favors. They became like teachers' pet, but not through their own accord. Yeah. That was just Gaz doing that all the time, um, and then. Uh, that oh, I had another point that I think is 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 kind of like at the crux of it is, well I'll figure it out I'll remember it again but I I think those are the things that make it you know a little bit different that it's kind of like I I just think it's you can't at this point just be like no no no, no it's all we, we, we don't you know there's not a problem we, this is what it is with everybody it's like, I don't know this feels exceedingly different and there's, all this is happening on radio like for a reason are they, are they starting to come in now. Where did it like kind of leave? Well, and the other element that like we brushed upon, but really isn't getting talked about, is like there is Jordan uh, right. Alex's personal shit that like Dave is like I've talked to them. Dave even said like my last text to them. I, I'm assuming that last text was like you have to come to the fucking office. Who the fuck do you think you are? Um, but if there is, you know, like hey, I got to get through this thing, and then we're gonna plan on starting up like October first or whatever the fuck it is. So that was not really I'll say openly talked like, about because I don't know why that affects Jordan. Well, she, Jordan's been doing all her, like, she's been solo, like, all, all of the videos. But I mean, like, around for coming the in the office, office and stuff like that. 
she's in the studio. I, uh, they're not like hanging out. That that uh, they just have to do that. They just I was like, you just can't. You just have to come to work. Yeah. Like that is just a baseline. But I also can understand them being like, that'd be, I, that'd be dope if your I, co-host gets divorced and you don't have to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, <laughs> you could have had a you could have had a long time off, man. <laughs> you could have had like years off, dude. Uh, I, I said to them after off off camera, I said. I don't know. Either do know. it. I was gonna I say. Really, whoa. I, I really have no final idea. Final bomb. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. I'm. I'm not in the know about anything. I'm just yeah. guessing. <laughs> I, I. I said if, if you're gonna do bar stool, you have to do it. Right. But also, if those girls were just like, I was here for a year. It's clearly not working out great. I'm out. I wouldn't blame that either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like leaving. Like, the company. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah, like I probably would have even the first go round been like, oh wait a minute, like I don't know, fuck these people, I'm out, <laughs> you know, this is a square peg in a round hole, it's not working, I'm gone. But like she had fought in rough and rowdy, and I think they were into all of it, so I was like, if you're gonna do it, you have to do that. it. Yeah, that was like full bore. Right, that's where. I was I, like that's most why. Dangerous dude, game, I, last, the game show last. Year. I always. Oh, yeah, people who do that shit. Uh, voted for me to win. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That, didn't, didn't like it. That did. story. Oh yeah, Sydney. Public. I don't know. <laughs> what happened on that one? When Sydney was like, Sydney almost stabbed Billy or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was. That I was, think uh, we did talk uh, about the after prank show. Whatever. Gone wrong. It was like we were, like it was at the camp. I was in one tent. Jordan and Sydney were in another tent across the way, and Billy at like. 2 a.m. broke out of like the eliminated players camp and w ran like a mile or two through the woods in the middle of the night to like he wanted oh, to like that dude is off he wanted to like scare me because uh, like he was blaming me for him getting out so and he was like he wanted to like ruffle the tent but he accidentally ruffled uh <laughs> Jordan girls and, tent. Tent. Dude, you, and they were a like girls in the middle of the honestly, woods and all of a sudden like, rightfully so there was like a lot of like kind of like people around that were like on dune like they were like it seems like that could have been like a meth head and like like yeah, Jordan yeah. or uh, Sydney was like if I had my gun on me I would have shot through the <laughs> I would have shot through the tent. I mean, <laughs> you yeah. picked the wrong tent to fuck it Dude, that's what because I did uh Barcelona doors with Sydney and she was like she's like yeah like I was gonna get a knife and just start stabbing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like, that was would, that would have been awesome. If Billy football had non-mortal stab wounds from a reality show at Barstool. Talk about <laughs> primo content right there. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's do calls because we haven't really done calls all week because the shows have been jam-packed. And I know the fans are in. I'd like to eventually maybe adamantly. hear just like what, what Clemmer's headspace is at, too. Like we were talking well, about that earlier. Is he like, here? I, I, yeah. I'm like, I'm, it's such a fine line of like I don't. <laughs> even yesterday, like. He he delivered an answer well at the end, and I was like, no, come on. Before <laughs> right, you right, fuck right. this up. I meant more in terms of like, like we were saying, like how's he handling the mix of like the internet sucking his dick, right? With with knowing that that's making, like I'm gonna. Yeah, I I I I think he should talk about that, but I just don't want him to fuck it up. <laughs> He's 43. He's a man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm was saying so we, we get 80 years on the earth. Like Clemens, oh. fucking 250. By the way, Clemens, was, actually, let's get Clemens because I think at one point I said Clemens said, I'm never gonna have another job. Oh well, that's true. That, so that's and went, funny. You're gonna be unemployed. Well, that, <laughs> I don't. Clemmer. That I always tell Clemmer. I'll wait till he comes over here, just in case. But like, come on on, come on on, Clemmer. Like for Clemmer, like this is. Uh, I always joke with Clemmer. Like, this up, is Clemmer? his. Like he always says, it's his last job. Like this is. You know when like your dad retires and he gets like a job at a grocery store. <laughs> yeah. That's what this is. For Clemmer. He's like, this is what it for you, me. What did yeah, you, wait, you like, like, put it on? Your, this is only what we had to do with Dave yesterday. Where it's like, what do you mean? Is you're like you're. Well, you. I mean, not young. to get too. You. You've well, got much. You like you've got. Fire? So I was. Yeah, wait, just take them. They they may yell at me when I what hold it. Doing? Just pinch. Put a clip on your neck. Yeah. They. Yeah. 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 You want me to do it? I can do it. That's the most intimate thing you can do to somebody. Oh, uh, like, on them. And I, when I do it for someone, I feel like I'm like, like I got to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in sales, sales. for okay. 20 years. I did okay. I didn't, did enough where I don't have to have debt. And like we sold the house that we made a little bit off that. My wife does very well. So and Respect. I don't, we don't have any kids. So that, I, that's why I didn't want to say until you said it. Yeah, fuck so that's why that's why I didn't want to say that just until Clemmer said. But like yeah, Clemmer like he doesn't need like you like you kind of it's like whatever. Like are we talking like. She does well, or is like she does like really well. Like, she does well. 
Uh, but like, we don't have any kids. We don't have a lot of, you know. Yo, if you don't have kids, you, 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 all you have to do is make like 80 grand. If you don't have kids, it's like, yeah, I didn't think it just I piles up. Anyway until yesterday. You know about credit cards? <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I mean, I'm, we're, we're lucky we're in a speed like We don't have any student loan debt, don't have any credit card debt, and that takes, that can, but regardless, like, um, no, I guess where my headspace is like, look, I kind of ups and downs, and like, I'm going to do something so stupid in two days. And I'm gonna be such a fucking asshole that like, so like I just do I just I do stupid shit. So well, like, and, and I yeah, think like in the what what everybody should absolutely put down in ink. Dave's gonna get you on something. You're gonna do something stupid. Yeah. And he's gonna be like, and 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 it's just because deal the deal with the devil or because no. I mean I also did something watching. I did like, something stupid. It's often gonna be I didn't, I didn't blog during the weekend. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Labor Day weekend. He made a great point. Like we just had layoffs. Yeah. You didn't blog Labor Day weekend. I mean did I. I spent that time thinking of blogs, but I I could have written a blog. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that, and so that's stupid. So I'll do something stupid again. I'm sure. Now, I feel like you had like three or four moments. You had the I'm 43 years old, you only get 80 years on this planet. I'm gonna go down swinging. These were you know like quotable, uh, like sound bites. You know, were you was that is that is that a uh, a clemmer like staple? Were you like I you know. Are you I dramatic would, like that? Is I would like say Clemmer's yes. a quotable when, guy. I would you say. see when yeah. Clemmer fucking went out, what's his dick? The fucking... Bishop Sycamore Bishop guy? Bishop Sycamore guy. No. <laughs> yeah. Dude, can we run the clip? The sheriff. The, the, dude. The, 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 I think the sheriff might stick, by the way. That's like the only thing I... This, the clip. Yeah, if you thought he went a Dave, you should... Look at that one. That creeps me out, by the way. That, that is fucking, so that terrifying. That was so wooden out, Blake. That was unreal. Also so accurate. Yeah. Yeah, that is great. Those are like the exact glass frames I wear. The glasses were even on point. I'm like, oh, I am that man. That Halloween is going to be gross. Um, so yeah, you had very dramatic moments that were very like underdogish, and like I think uh, like the internet rallied. What was your reaction when you saw the internet reaction of like? I mean, let's be honest. Like, the internet is in agreement that you bodied Dave. And people have been awesome, but like I, I mean, like I said I, you can't. It, people are very nice. I'm glad you know people. Should be careful still, here, okay? Still, no, I mean, I'm glad you scroll through mentions a lot last night. Were you like, oh, yeah, quite, I mean, I got tagged in a bunch of tweets and stuff, but I, I mean, I'm always happy that it's good. But like I said, I could do something stupid at the end. At the end of the day, like, I'm happy that people are happy with me right now. But at the same token, all that matters, though, is on, I know it sounds cliche and lame, but like the office, like, I care about the people here and it's like the respect of people here. That's <laughs> all I give to <laughs> and, 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 and that's, that's, that's also why it and sucks like, that you were uh, kind of the, the one. On the other side of this, because you're you're really like the last person that I don't mind. Being I would worry it, about. I like I like. No, but the like there, we 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 lost the thread yesterday, or th that that side argument went left when all of a sudden we were talking about like doing detriment to the company, Black Lives Matter, all that stuff. I I thought we were like okay, we are. We, that Dave versus Clemmer became a whole separate I'll, thing that I was like I don't know what's going on. That will happen to me a fair amount. On shows where, like, I, I think I think it's what happened to Dave, where, like, I'll be talking about something, and then in my head, I'll be like, oh, wait, dude, you're talking about something else right now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, Dave, uh, when Dave texted me right after he tweeted, quote tweeted you, and said, I'm coming on radio. And that, for me, I was like, oh, this is a Clemmer, or not even a Clemmer thing, but who, who can speak up and who can't sort of thing. So that was, like... Clearly Dave's issue because that was when he like was like I'm coming on tomorrow. So in his mind, I think he was equating it to like when when there was a lot of talk about him being racist and there were people speaking out and it was things that can stick. And I think he equated that to it can stick on you if you're known as the person who laughed at layoffs. Right. And it was just this like I, I see where you're going, but I didn't think it was. You, the th here's the thing about Dave, and I've always said this because I, I mean I did radio with him long enough. And I've lost uh, many, many debates to him. Dave usually only goes in when he's got the goods, when he has, you know, top hand. He either has the receipts that prove it, he has logic or truth on his side, uh, or, and, and then when he does and he knows it, it's like you're done. When he, if he, if it's, you know, uh, like a gray area, he usually will like argue it and debate it, but he's not going to make like a thing of it. And I think he found himself in a spot where it's like, there is, I, I guess I can understand what he's saying that if you're the last man on the bench, you shouldn't harm the company. Of course, that's just logical, right? Right. But, but at Barstool, we're a place where everyone can speak up and say these things and blah, blah, blah. So it really was the only time I've seen him in that gray area where it's like, I don't know, man, this is kind of old by the ways, you know? I, I also, 
from Dave's point of view too, I think it's important to acknowledge, I've never run a whatever hundred million dollar company before. So he's gonna look at it from perspective that yeah, I can't wife does that. understand. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. Uh, but like, but like I, I, so he's gonna come at it from an angle that I can't even perceive or yes. understand. Yes. So you have to respect People that. People forget that, that a little bit too. Yeah, and it's also like, the guy also like bought the company back and so we all have jobs. If he didn't buy the company back, I'm, I'm fucking gone. Yeah. You know, we're on a beach in contract. Bermuda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm back. Just serving your wife, <laughs> serving your wife like my uh, ties, oh, eating it, your no. grapes on the oh, beach. Yeah. Running, running all the errands, doing it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, but, but like, so I mean, you have to understand. Like, everyone's gonna have different perspectives. So I'm gonna have a different perspective on this than even some other people here might, just because I'm older and at a different point in my life. Sure, sure. And just like, you know, he's gonna have a different perspective. 43, for the record. 43, 43. that's right, I'm a man. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I think that's also kind of got lost in it, where it was like, it became, I don't say combative, because we both did listen to each other. But I think it came, became a little bit like argumentative, where maybe it's just like, we're just kind of coming out from different angles. Well, what's tough is, uh, I, we, we, I don't know if you heard, we were mentioning like, there's barstool rules. And then at any, any moment, if Dave, wants to be like, hey, this is a real world thing when it comes to running a $100 million company. And it's like, oh, well, okay, yes. But I thought we were in the circus, basically. <laughs> like you were operating under circus rules where you can say what you want and do what you want, no matter if you're at the top or the bottom. You can say, I can talk about you, I can talk about you, I, it, free speech, all that shit. But if the boss comes in and then just says, hey, don't do anything detrimental to another person's show, you gotta just be like, Okay, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, which is I, kind of unfair. It's a gray That's... area there. So like, we talk about real world. So I have worked in the real world, and like, I once worked for a company. My boss was doing things that were corrupt, and were doing some really shady stuff. And I yelled at him in the middle of the sales floor, and I didn't lose my job. <laughs> like, I thought it was bullshit. And I was I, like, What the fuck are you doing? This is bullshit. I will pay a large sum of money Bro. because I'll get footage of that. Turn like, that into the fucking gif of him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and that guy was probably like, Dave was like, why the fuck am I oh, As a matter of fact, <laughs> I was in the real world okay, and I knew. How big. <laughs> I, I had my, my boss, so this was like two bosses ahead of me. And my boss dragged me <laughs> out and like, was like, I remember we, this was in New York City. Was the office, You're just a little fire office, like, <laughs> clamor, uh, clamor, after, clamor. No, no, it wasn't like that. It was afterwards, it was like, you know, thank you. Or like, you know, I appreciate it. And then my boss, well, his well, boss, well, his boss. What was he doing? Uh, I, uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but like it was uh, kind of getting sales that were fraudulent. Put it that way. Okay. Like basically writing fake sales that when the that he knew that people uh, were never gonna pay. The old Dunder Mifflin Infinity situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of only with yeah. with yeah with tax dollars. It yeah. was like a lot of really like you know exploiting okay. stuff, really shitty stuff. So I was like, that's bullshit. That sucks. And then my like I said my boss's boss's boss was happy I did that at the end of the day. But, you know, I definitely got dragged out. And I remember I was at Madison Square Park. I was getting yelled at by myself. You can't do that. You, can't, you come to me for it. I'm like, no, it was just wrong. And I, you know, I yelled at it. Like, I also, like, I was in a situation where I did sales. If I lost my job, I just go get another sales job. This job's different because I'm not going to, if I don't have this job. Well, I know job. this. This is my last, job, last job. But I also know, like, there's not another, like, opportunity like this yeah. anywhere else. This is such a unique, this is a unicorn situation. So, on that note. Did you think there was a chance you get fired yesterday? Because almost everybody uniformly thought there was yeah, no yeah, I did. on radio. I did. I, I thought I thought there was a shot. Were you like, so you were sitting there like like Dave was on a yeah, one on point a rant, I stared at him. And you were thinking like I'm like, about to get fired. I said that's your choice, and I kind of stared at him. He stared at me, and I'm like, all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> but like, <laughs> be but, careful right now, bro. No, I, mean, I, I know, but that, that's what that's what I was going through my mind. I said we'll see what. Ha I, I love being here. I love I love the people I work you with. You were genuinely. prepared. You were prepared to be fired for. That, I was like, well, I and thought, for this cause. I thought in my head, I'm like, all right. Well, the good news is because we moved all the stuff. I haven't brought all my stuff in my desk. I'm like, all I gotta do is grab my bag and I'm gone. So I did have that thought go through my head. So have my lamb had my wife pick me up in our lamb. <laughs> if you didn't have, to our if you didn't have a sugar mama, if you didn't have a sugar mama, which I norms is different. Oh, I think I think you got this this you know cash cow at home. She's like, I'm gonna go say whatever I want. That's a good distinction. That's not it. I like no, to do it's like things that are right. That's all. That's all. And my opinion, but I also think Dave was necessarily wrong. I think from my perspective, I was right. I think from Dave's perspective, his ultimate thing always has to be company first. Yeah. Yeah, because it protects all of our jobs. Yeah. So we're just a different perspective. Um, yeah, and that's just where I was coming from. But I'm uh, not. I'm not upset at all, and I'm not. I. I yeah. I'm, there's like zero. I, I don't know. I hope he's not upset. I don't oh, know. Oh no, he. Did you guys. Did you guys, guys talk to each other last night at all? Oh, uh, we exchanged some texts, and it was it was fine. Like I, I don't oh, know. What's that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say it was text. It was fine, but like I, I it was nothing that was. I'm sorry. You already read the text. I read the text show, back. So yeah. Um, so come on. 
So we can, you can. Yeah, I'm going to listen to Kirk's show. I, I'm not going to. That's not. I'm gonna not going to turn do. this off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not going to do that. That's fine. Yeah. But I, I stand by the text. Hey, obviously. This. Yeah. I, 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 Clemmer is quite the. Uh, <laughs> is that? What's going on? Oh, wow. No. <laughs> Um, Clemmer, you really are like a Actually, man of honor and and he is, by your code. So that like I fuck up. I, all I like the time. to be I fuck like, up all the time. No, 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 no that's, that's not, not that's not, not true. true. Like you can have a code and I a man am, of honor, you fuck up. Uh, but yeah. you really like you you have your moral code and you don't deviate from it. You're you know thinking about like Dave being like you got to bring money in. Any thoughts of maybe a T-shirt? You got this arm like. I'm, Dude, Quemmer I'm 40, is so fucking I'm 43, old. I'm a man. Quemmer, I'm, whoever started I'm that. Is. I'm 43, I'm a man, I'm Quemmer with a W. Uh, a picture of your little face. And just like little, little fun on the back, like this is my last job ever. <laughs> you got, you're getting thousands of replies. It could sell. Yeah. I, I, Listen, I, the one thing Dave loves the most. Yeah, I mean, if, that, if it helps, if, it, if, the merch, if that's a merch thing that would help, then sure, I don't also, you know, I don't, I don't know. W what, what if maybe, maybe Barstool Radio will put, uh, a T-shirt on. Sale. I love that. So it's not clever. I love that. Now I think we. This might be a pasta, pasta boy situation. Remember that? M Smitty sold pasta yeah. boy shirts. Dave like nobody, that. Yeah, nobody world. would buy them. Yeah, there is a chance that people are like oh, I tweeted about Clem. I'm, yeah, buying, I'm, a I'm buying a T-shirt. But I don't know, man. He's got the weird Minifan. Co are the Minifans on your side? Uh, I think so. I, I, Because uh, they, they have their weird code too. I think they hate your guts because Kirk doesn't like they, you. Well, but also, you're speaking up for free well, speech. Well, Kirk, had me, Kirk they... had me back in a couple weeks ago, so I think we've. Oh, you guys are in good terms. We've yeah. ended some fences. So, okay. Um, yeah. I think he was impressed with your performance last night, yesterday. Yeah, I, ho I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll say honestly, like, doing that show and like being able to be with Kirk for like a year when I was literally a nobody in doing literal podcasts in a basement. You were helped for a full you. year? I would go in once a week for a year. Okay. So like that helps you, that helps, and just being with someone that smart and that quick, like that helps you stay on your toes. Sure. So that, that helped enormously too. But yeah, it was, it was you know, I said, I'm glad to come on. It's always fun to come on the show. Obviously that was a uh, intense situation, but like I'm not, I, I said, I, I'm not upset at all. Okay, uh, let's take some calls. I mean, you can sit around if you want. You know what, why don't you just get, com get, get compact for the people real quick. Oh, of course. If, if you're unaware, <laughs> uh, this is this is uh, Clemmer. Yeah, oh yeah. This is Clemmer's. Uh, Wait, sit here and, and I, take calls as your compact. I'm gonna take my shoes. Oh my God, we're getting the dogs out. Well, so Clemmer's. I don't like when people stand on front of. Okay. <laughs> He's got two rules. He's a man. <laughs> I'm a man. Uh, well, one of the things that you can do better than anyone else is get compact, which sounds weird, but when he does it, it's like, holy shit, look how small he becomes. He's so, he has like a pillow. He's like a little baby. He's, he's. <laughs> It's like this. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's the best. It's when the I heard best. that, I was like, "What? what how impressive can it be?" And he did it. I was like, "Holy shit!" He, he basically yeah, disappeared. Oh, he I, like, he that was a great fake fart noise too. I don't. Yeah, I don't know when everyone else discovered it. When I first discovered Clever's compactness was on a, a bracket episode, where he also revealed that he has just the best fake fart of all time. Clever. Clever just stole that episode. It was unbelievable. His fart's like so good that it's like not real. It's like it's like a movie fart. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, let's get to some calls. We'll take calls pretty much throughout the rest of the day here because I know uh, the fans feel very differently and they need to be heard as well. Dave in on uh, no, sorry, James in Ontario. What's up, James? James, going once, going twice. Hey, Kevin. What's up, dude? Hey, um, I just, uh, obviously, we all know what the topic of the day is, so I'll get right into it. But I just, it sounds a lot like you supported Clemmer this, on this episode far more than yeah. you showed when he was talking to Dave. Yeah, well. So I'm just wondering why you didn't help him in his uh, conflict, and Bites was really the only one to stand up for him yesterday. Yeah, I, I flat out said, I was like, I, I, I texted John, I said, that was good that you, you kept the show balanced. I just didn't want to fall on that grenade. I had no interest in 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 uh, becoming. I I am a, uh, the best spot I've been with Dave in a decade, <laughs> and I am not going to let the Mean Girls Clemmer tweet saga ruin that. Uh, if you just break it down to like, I didn't want my boss to get mad at me. I think God. people could be like, oh. <laughs> I I, uh, I also there, there's like a couple things at play. One that's number one for sure. Number two is I was still like anti Clemmer, but. The tweet, like th those were two things going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I was right. like, I was an I was gonna argue against Clemmer because I think he was wrong about that tweet, 
And I think when you're that wrong about something and take that big of a stance and, like Dave said, put that on their reputation, I still think there was a lot to be anti-Clemmer yesterday. The, like, freedom of speech, if you will, and, you know, ability to say things at Barstool, uh, that I... I am fully on Clemmer's side and like and then honestly I really was like I thought this was going to die down and I even told Clemmer like let's just let this lie because I don't want this to become a thing for you but once the blog went up I was like okay now the topic of the yeah. day is going to be that so yes uh, it, it does seem a little like duplicitous but in the moment he was like I was like it, it's one of those things where you're on you know these people here's the argument these people on this side and these people on this side and then the argument started changing and I was like well wait a minute <laughs> Like, that's, I don't think I don't think that. I was like, I, all, all of a sudden, when my my like partner in the argument started bringing up Black Lives Matter, I was like, oh, it was. I don't know what's going on right now. I, I love always referencing it. I've done it a million times, but in um, the bathroom episode of Sunny, when uh, Frank is on Dennis's side, it's like, shut I the fuck up, you agree with me? <laughs> or, or, or Dennis it's talking, not, stop bringing up the Constitution. Yes, I beg you to stop using the Constitution <laughs> in the way you're using it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Troy in Saskatoon again. Saskatoon is like a hotbed for Barstool Radio. This guy was cast. Or maybe it's just one guy every time. I don't know. What's up, Troy? Hey, yeah, this is same Troy from yesterday. Okay, just one guy. <laughs> Troy's like, yeah, I walk around Saskatoon. No one knows what yeah. the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you got, Troy? <laughs> um, I just kind of inside baseball question, maybe, but just curious. You guys were mentioning, like, oh, maybe Martin Mean Girl podcast doesn't work out at bar, uh, Barstool and they continue on somewhere else. Like, how does that work? If a podcast starts at Barstool, does Barstool maintain the Mean Girl podcast? If they want to go somewhere else, they can't take it with them? I, I, it's a, it's a good question, and it is a, um, it's a rare occurrence, to be honest. Uh, Caller Daddy was a thing. We all know how that played out. Jared. Right. Did not. Jared, Jared did not get his Jared. IP. Yeah. Um. Pat McAfee That's show really wasn't it. called Pat McAfee show, was it? He just did like. Uh, I don't know how that works though when it's your name. Yeah, that there there is a gray area there because yeah. I remember I remember one time they asked me to sign something and I was like, this feels like I'm like signing my name over to you and I just didn't sign it. Yeah. <laughs> they kept emailing me some girl and I was just like, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> um, so I think Troy, that question is pretty much a question of how popular are you and how like I, uh, the, the 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 black and white answer is barstool owns the ip if you create a show here um and you sign the same contracts we all signed they own the ip so if they want to go to war for it or just say like like with with jared he was going to a direct competitor dave said you cannot take starting nine with you you don't, you don't get the name you don't get the feed you don't get the social media accounts that's we're not going to help our competitor um alex I think it was such a juggernaut. Dave was just like, I still want to make some money off your merch. Right. I'll use it as a... I, I, my thought, if I was in, in Barcel's position and going through... It's all a case-by-case -case basis, but my thought is that IP is not valuable to you if you don't have the host of that show. Yes. Like, okay, there's a, a bunch well, of I people... Well, I think it's more to not set the precedent of, like, you Correct. can just leave but and what take I, everything that we have. So what I... But the way I would view it is... I w unless it was like Jared went to a direct competitor so I can understand them being like, we're not going to just go help DraftKings, right, like, like directly. But everybody else, I would rather set the precedent that Barstool is like a artist Washing first pass. place. They give, if, you, if, you, if it's your name and you built it and it's you, you know, if you, if you have like, if you were on Barstool Radio, that's a different thing. But right. she built Call Her Daddy, uh, like, we, you deserve it. And then Alex, when she does all her interviews and stuff, says, you know what, like, Barstool was awesome. They gave me everything and let me, you know, go scot free. Like, uh, as a content creator myself, if they ever said to me, like, you know what, you can have KFC Radio, it's your name, and you built it, I'd be like, fuck yeah. If they held it, you know, if they kept it from me, they are like legally allowed to. But one thing that's just literally going to sit there and do nothing, right? Right. Like, you can't put. If if me and John are gone, those subscribers are going to de unsubscribe and right. not watch. And then you find somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <shh. laughs> <Keep> quiet. <laughs> go, go, take fucking five minutes in Murray Hill. You can find it. <laughs> no, no, you're not right. Um, so in that case, I think Mean Girls would be owned by Barstool. Um, and I, I like think we probably would not give it to. Like, definitely not. Like, I'm pretty sure at least on Instagram. I know a lot of times we convert 
expired yeah. shows. I, I, shows I, so I, I'm pretty sure that happened with them. There's no way we different. would give them I, I think they would. Story. I think we would give them their. Uh, like iTunes or like Apple. Yeah, I mean, I, you know? I don't know. I, I also think I, I, in this specific case, I would I would think there's an argument to not because I think yeah. so much of it has been built over barstool gossip. That is not true. gossip, but bar like stool. the barstool oh, oh, main promotion. Me there, there, the very logical argument is like your name came about because of Dave arguing yeah, with that yeah. girl. I would say being realistic, just knowing, looking at how this is all unfolded. Dave, yes. Dave would give it to him. Agreed. Dave would be like. I think you got a raw deal. I think people were like, you know, out to get you, whether that's true or not. That Dave thinks that way, so I think he would say, "Here you go." But I hope it doesn't even come to that, because uh, you know what? It's like, I, listen, Barcel will move on with or without them, and probably us, and this and that. So it's not the end of the world. But I, uh, I don't know. I just don't think it needs to come to that. Uh, Justin in California. What's up, Justin? Hey, uh, morning, guys. Um... You know, I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to ask a question. Like, I feel like um, Dave really wanted to protect the Mean Girls pod. Like, I, he, it was a clear, it was a clear, like, line that Kremer was right. It was just him calling him out. Well, I don't think it was right. Like, I, I will argue till I'm blue in the face that that tweet, that video is okay to post. I'm well. I, I when I so, first saw, it, I laughed. I, I I agree. I think that video was completely fine. And, and then, I, I think the argument is it's more. It was more dumb than it was malicious. But I don't even. I don't, think, even, it I don't think it's dumb. I, I think also like like particularly again, when the air producer got fired and they like they talked to him and they know and stuff like that. Like Nick was like. I think it's like dude. I'm talking about personal. Like I'm talking about personal shit. Like it's almost like if if you had, uh, your fucking mom died. And you made what the fuck? Yeah, and you made jokes about dead moms. I'm like, dude, you can't make fun of that. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, dude, it's fucking my thing. Yeah, like I'm. I'm well, I mean, they thing. didn't get laid off. But they, they but they, but but their, also that, their entire internet existence is people saying, "Fuck you." you no, 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 I know, but I'm saying like for that. Scenario, yeah, that, that wasn't the greatest one. <laughs> the, he, want, he lost I, the thread there. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I didn't wanted, know. I wanted to uh, work a dead mom thing in. Um, <laughs> but, it's like Black Lives Matter. You yeah, gotta understand. Yeah. Uh, I that that's like. Their entire existence is that. And if they want to say fuck you to those people and use the storyline that everyone is talking about and using, I just think people don't like them. It's just, it's like, I, I was just we were talking with the guys off camera and they're like, no, 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 it's like, it's not like that. I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're the only people that all the producers are speaking up and tweeting about and they get tons of retweets and tons of likes and everyone in the office gossips about it and everybody like jumps on board I, oh there there was definitely like a i'm gonna get which i actually don't think was clever but there was definitely like a am gonna get internet points oh. by like and there were people and, that were laid off from our like three years ago right jiving <laughs> being like <it>. fuck <laughs> fuck them so like you can't say like there's just never been anybody else where like producers and and uh, I guess third floor people and other content creators are like fuck you you shouldn't be here. So um, in that sense, again, this is two different things. I think it was very clear. I I do think Clemmer was right in the sense of like I should be able to send that send that tweet or, mm -hmm. or have that segment on the rundown. But um, the like crux of, of what it was about, I think he was wrong on. Uh, let's go to Steve in New York. Hey, Kevin. Hey, guys. Just a, just a super quick question. You know, in regards to people saying, like, oh, you know, they, they do numbers. Mean Girls does numbers. I mean, if you look at the YouTube views, like, they're only getting, like, four to 5,000 views. So are we talking about the numbers where, like, they, they promote them on well, the main Instagram, like the main channel? Yeah, like, you, YouTube. Like, no, 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 no. Their, their numbers are... They did a billion views on their Instagram last year. Not the main account, like the mean girls and, and, and maybe chicks, maybe like that combined. So like a little bit of, but not the main account. Uh, so their numbers are social media numbers. YouTube is, is a tough nut to crack. Like that's, that, that's a hard. That's an unfair thing because it's a podcast, but also it's almost like the powers that be. I, I heard you say a Barcelona audit earlier, and I do think people, look into them more than you should yeah but also that's i get why people are doing that because everyone like is in a meeting people like, they're doing numbers they're doing numbers yes. and they're like, they're like wait no they're like, not yeah, yeah. like I, it's well I, I really i mean that 
these are the these are things I look back on where I'm like I, I'm trying to take a more active role, and I remember in the moment being like, I, I was gonna reach out to Gaz and be like, stop hyping them so much because people around here are getting sick of it, and I was like, eh, I'm not getting involved in that shit, and I wish I had because I think if it was just like one email that was like, hey, you know, uh, like a silly fucking video that they did did. 10 million views or whatever the fuck it was, it would have been fine. But every week when it was like, Mean Girls did this and you should do that. And you're someone who's like, I tried this, I've tried that. I've done this show, I've done this way. I've, done, I've tried it all and I haven't gotten that same traction. And these guys are brand new and they are, and it's getting all this attention. You're naturally gonna be like, ugh, fuck and, this. And that's an unfair target to get on your back. And if I had to guess, the reason that happened is because I'm pretty sure Gaz is the one who hired them. So he right. wanted to make Absolutely. it Absolutely. Hey, these guys are doing great. These guys are doing great. A thousand percent. And then everyone else is like, we fucking talk about like, thousand it. thousand percent. Is. But also, so a, a lot of people always say, when I was like, yo, they're, 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 you know, they're going viral. They're getting traction. And people would be like, but their podcast isn't. And it's like, well, they're, why do you, so now you have to get downloads and you have to get YouTube views. Like, why can't they just be a big thing on social media? Yeah, you know, it was like every every step was like another thing. Well, we're adding it to the list. Like, maybe their podcast doesn't do a lot of downloads, but I told them to stop doing their podcast. <laughs> so just do social media videos. Yeah, just make clothes. Who fucking cares? <laughs> like, why even try to do a podcast? Um, so you know that that the audit thing uh, did was not really like of their own doing. What is of their own doing is I think when all of those videos are. Because, uh, like, Grace, I always thought Grace and Brie had the same video about washing their hands. Mm. Nobody cared. Th we know there's a difference in, like, style of those, those four girls, you know? Yeah. When, if, if, if uh, you're on social media all the time being like, I think when you go on a first date that the guy should buy me and all of my friends drinks and you should get the most expensive thing on the menu, and, blah, 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 and they do that a lot, I think there's going to be people who are like, fuck these chicks. Yeah. And then, so it's like, you don't like what they have to say. And then you think they're getting some unfair push. I, I the only the, this is the only place in the world where I think fans will really get into like people being like they don't deserve the main account posts. Like yeah. you guys are crazy. You're all fucking crazy. Uh, where's where's uh, Nick? Can you find Joey Camasta, please? Josh, Josh Peck was walking around here, by the way. Oh, there's Joey. Joey. Feidelberg is supposed to be getting, uh, he's getting a ball cap, a ball cap for, for out of order, and he's just you're getting big times with happening. I'm getting big time, but we gotta like I gotta get it on. We gotta go. And this is something you need like his expertise in. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's like it, a heavy. It's a lot it's of like, It's like you're gonna have a full bald head. This is gonna be interesting to see you. You gotta get on your. I'm right. I'm starting now. Let's go, ma'am. Here we go. Let's go, ma'am. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, can we do it here? No, yeah, we're just gonna do it on on. Or is that not possible? Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Joey will be um, uh, 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 bald capping Feidelberg for the for the last Where's bit of show here. Oh, it's uh, right here. We got we got full. We got your 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 station is set up. Let's go to Rob in Canada. What the fuck's with all the Canadian callers? There's at least four of them. Oh, how are you? What's up, Rob? Uh, I was just curious how. Nobody's called out Brianna Chicken Fry. Like, she's made her entire career at Barstool shitting on teenagers' relationships, and the second there's a joke made about her, she's crying wolf. Like, what's going on? I don't, I don't think know, I would not characterize her. Brianna <laughs> Chicken Fry, if you want to criticize her and be like, she made her a career of, like, partying and drinking and being hungover, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, I mean, she, BFFs, they do, like, gossip about other relationships, so there is a little bit of hypocrisy in that. But also, she was on the couch, just like we did, we brought it up. Yeah, the, I, I, I think that's a funny thing. Like, someone talked about something you don't like one time, and, and I have no idea. I don't know if Brianna, I, I, I know her as the party or hungover, whatever, to be like, her entire career is at. I never even knew she ever did that. One. I feel like that's someone I'm sure who just on BFF isn't really that things. familiar with. with yeah. Yeah. I, I will also say this. I will go fully on the record, only for myself. Um, the, the, there's two things with both the Brianna situation and the Mean Girl situation. I think you can bust balls and hate and clown and talk shit and all that. I think when it reaches a point where it's like this is overkill. That's when I usually have an issue with it. I think what was happening to Brianna with the, in the country music world, I was like, this is over the line. This is a little crazy. I think what's happening to the Mean Girls here was a little over the line and crazy. And I flat out will go on the record and say, 
I, I am more sensitive to the girls here. I just am. I like will protect them more, and I will, or I will like defend them more. And I, that's not a barstool thing. I'm not speaking for anybody else, but that is for me. So, um, let's we go can, to we got, Kate in Ohio. I can just do it after them. We only Hi, I was show. wondering after more if any of you understood Jordan's point about content people not speaking nah, to non-content people. Sorry. That was a uh, uh, that was not a great yeah. moment for them. That I think is a that was like a rookie thing, where I think they they think there is a certain rule in place. What was that? Sorry. The the content. Jordan saying like the corporate people shouldn't be able to like go at her. That was that was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Was, and that and that is okay. where the Mean Girls have a little bit of like a PR issue where it's like yeah that was not a likable thing to be like who are you to talk to me? That's where people are like you know what I don't like that girl. That sort of shit is okay. If you tell me that you don't like it because they sound a little bit like pretentious or a little bit uh, snobby, like in that moment, that's that's a good example. I think I said what? Because I thought I misheard her. Yeah, I, like, like I, she said. Yeah, she was like, yeah I didn't. I didn't follow. She that. also was okay. saying corporate a couple times, and I'm like, <laughs> like, if there was like a person from like the merch team being like, "Fuck you," that I, I probably would be understood. I think, I think I, that's if I had to guess, I would say corporate is just her term for non-content. Yeah. yeah, I think it's probably what she was. Yeah, I, I, I think that was more about Arya, and I, I think, but that is like. I think Arya has the right to say all that, and then we all have the right to just be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think you can be like, you are not content. I was, I was so good. I was. And then, but the email apology from the last time <laughs> that he tweeted out himself, I was like, this is madness. Is I, was, I, was, I was, didn't quite hit like uh, the shelter. What? My brain is not working today. But the uh, <laughs> when Eminem pop, when he when he pop a doctor. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to say it about me? I'll say it first. Like, yeah. Oh, it doesn't look. Good. I, I was all, I was yeah. in the car with Ari yesterday listening to Barstool Radio as Dave was like, "This guy's fucking crazy." How did you not bring that up? <laughs> oh, what did Ari say? Up. He was just like uh, he, he he was like in. He wasn't like, fuck, I'm not crazy. Like, he was in pretty good spirits. About yeah, it. yeah. We're like, yeah, you're not fucking crazy, bro. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> swing. <laughs> yeah. uh, here's an interesting one. Chris from Illinois. Hey, what up, guys? I was calling to see if, A, do you think Alex being married to a billionaire has anything to do with the hate? And, B, now that she's going through her shit, if that'll change. If people start liking her more now that she might not be. That's I I kind of alluded to it. I think there is I think there's an air about those girls of like they're like the rich popular girls in high school sort mm -hmm. of thing. And a lot of people don't like that. And I don't know if if you know when you find pretty out sure that she's still going to be rich no matter what. Yeah, I think she's pretty uh yeah. I think both both sides of the family were well off. But I I think that would be probably be part of it. It's like you know when when people bring up the difference with Grace and Bree saying it versus them, it's like Grace and Bree feel like the girls that you're like, let's go do shots of whiskey in a dive bar. Yeah. And the Alex and Jordan feel like let's go to the fucking Hamptons Country Club. And, and I that, those are two different. Feels that way. What? Doesn't help. I her. can guess why it feels that way. Yeah, yeah. It's that's what they are. That's what they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's why all I, like if people just said like I don't like those girls because they seem like stuck up snobs or something, I'd be like, all right. Uh, but it's it's the tiptoeing around like we're just trying to you know, get them to come to the office. We just want them to be better. We're doing this for the girls. It's like, come on, guys. Um, let's just do a few more here. Blake from South Carolina. What's up, Blake? Hey, Kev. How are hey, you, man? Personally, I mean, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, with the whole situation, I just. I think maybe the mean girls are getting a little too big for their britches. I mean, they've been around a while and they do good on social media, but you know, they, they, like Dave said, he tries to act like call her daddy and they're not. And I don't think what Clemmer did was wrong, but you know, that's, that's how Barstool was built was calling each other out, yep. you know, and maybe the corporate corporate, as Jordan says, side of the company shouldn't be able to do it. But I mean, let's look at how Zog got a job and, Zog's yeah. probably yeah. one of my favorite people at Barstool, but he got a job by calling out, you know, Smitty yeah. when he didn't even have a job. That, I mean, those those right. are that those are the examples people point to of like this is actually the most Barstool thing ever is a guy like Clemmer becoming 
a centerpiece of a big debate. You know, that, that's how Barstool's always kind of the I mean, difference. D- Dave's never going to be mad at anyone for yelling at Smitty. <laughs> that, and, and, and that is another thing. I, 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 I don't know if I said it on social media. I had a list, few things listed out. I don't know if I sent it. The other thing is Dave has consistently been inconsistent about that. He says there are different rules for different people, and it's based on how much you earn and how popular you are, and also whether he likes you or not. And so he has used the, like, the Manny Ramirez yes, analogy. Yes, you get to throw him down. Um, now, but I think that's where people are like, these girls aren't Manny Ramirez, so why are they yeah. getting treatment? But, and I think but I also they think they're not. That, it's not like they're making like millions of dollars or anything. Like the the, the office thing. It sounds like the personal issues are a part of why she hasn't been in the office. Dave, it sounds like, has extended them, like, you know, some grace in that situation. But it also sounds like he's been, like, enough's enough. You have, like, you were you were gone while Penn was around. I'm taking note now. You have to come back. Once you figure your shit out, you have to come back. I think and then, and then, and then And then that'll be the real test, by the way. Like, we'll find out. Because all I'm hearing is if they came to the office, everything will be fine and all that shit. I tend to think people are still going to hate these girls. But when they're here every day, what's what's the argument going to be then? You know? I, I I do get the other argument. Like I I see people side where you're like you're not here, but you are treated like like they're that that person is going to be a person who's not liked. Yeah, a person yeah. who's treated like a god and is just a regular person. How would you say they're treated like a god? There's a, a lot to I not think, come in I the think office. They, 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 they have different rules that yeah they, that we are acknowledging right. that have right. they have they have those rules and right they, they don't come in. And they don't blog, and people get yelled at for not blogging on the weekend. I, I would guess Jordan and Alex did not blog this weekend. Yes. And they don't. That, but that's also where I think that there was a lot of people doing a lot of the same shit they were doing. They do it to a higher extent, but like, I think Clemmer probably is one of the people who who is here a lot and does a lot, so can call it out. But there's also a lot of people I'd, I think I'd be like, yeah. I would just be. My thing was always just I would never throw any stones like that unless I was like locked up like I've done a lot for this company I am always here I am always doing this I am you know before I was ever like these girls shouldn't you know work here or whatever um, I was gonna go to one last call but this guy just hung up where he said he thinks this whole situation is is overblown and thinks that we should all just move on so I we should leave it at that agree. Yeah. I, I, that's what we were hoping to have the bald cap put on the whole episode because it would have been a nice segue out how about, um, uh, does anybody know what Hank and Donnie did last night? Oh, it was unbelievable. That, oh, again, okay, let's go to that was again PC another, and like, and, and, and Quiggs tweeted it. But it was another, which is kind of becoming like a Patrick Mahomes, like, that thing. Where it's like, if Patrick Mahomes does everyone loses their mind. Like, Hank and Donnie had the dumbest conversation that I was also as dumb. Like, I was, I was like, learning things in this dumb conversation. It's like, it was like, did you know bulls are cows? <laughs> it's like, is that what it was? Yeah, it's like, bulls are cows. cows. Yeah. No, I knew that. Yeah. I learned that pretty recently. <laughs> <laughs> Is that I'm sure Casey, you're from Texas. I'm sure that was like nails on a chalkboard for you. Oh geez, boy, <laughs> it was brutal. But uh, yeah, it was the same. Feidelberg kind of touched on it. Quig, by the way, shout out Quig. He's like the best follow on Twitter. He really is. But Quigs and Greer. Mean, yeah. Oh yeah, but he said Mean Girls would get crucified for it. These guys were just sitting there like, oh, I've never known that a bull. Is just a male cow. It was brutal, but I, 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 was just I can't was piggybacking on that. I can't even imagine what that feels like if you're in Texas. It's, they must be like, yeah. these but that's people the people are retarded. Every, when you like, it's yeah, but there's people would, in Texas who don't know things about New York. Right, totally. I was gonna say like, if if you thought that the, like the subway was the same thing as right. Metro North, <laughs> yeah, like, whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. It is, but like, it's not even regional. It's like it's just like you knew this thing. I didn't know this thing. I, I get it. Like, but like that is becoming a thing. That's that's why I've always been on the Mean Girl side with stuff where it's like. Fuck them! They're making this up. It's so fake. They were trying to tell me like they didn't know about dinosaurs, or you're trying to tell me that they didn't know about like diseases and shit like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know about most things. Like it happened on the dozen when and things, this is really dumb. I knew about this thing when Dana didn't know what D Day was. Yeah. And he's like, oh, on the bracket. Like, what are you talking about? Right. But no, I knew about it. There's a lot of things Dana knows that I don't. When you are on the internet. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not trying to go that far. <laughs> I, I, that that was that was uh, the most bracket confident bracket, yeah. I've ever heard someone. Be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, boom. When the war ended, is- dude, when we dropped the yeah. news. <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> what are you even asking me stupid ass questions for? But again, like that's- and that's, but I do understand the side of like when a couple of bros who are just like, yeah, I don't know, I said something stupid versus like, and there's a lot I of people who in, look in at their defense again, content I think and they're they like, they think they're it. better than me. Yeah. Huh? I think a yeah. lot of people look at the mean girls. And they're like, they think they're better than me. And I think and that Jordan's retort yesterday didn't help. Did not help. Right. Me. So <laughs> they d- they have a PR problem and a uh, work in the office problem. 
before anyone will ever really start to like them. But I also think that like that it went too far the other direction. So um, I don't. I mean, the, you know, obviously this is the topic of the day. I don't think there's anything else that was really huge in Barstool. Um, uh, we'll we'll, we'll pump, give our boy Mook, Bo Jangles. We'll give our boy Mook a, a win too. Yeah, it's been rough for him. He had a very funny tweet. Uh, he had a, a couple of them, a couple different you know comparisons to Travis Hunter playing both ways. But the main one was uh, he said, "I'm going Travis Hunter mode at the bar tonight, hitting on guys and girls." <laughs> and uh, uh, J uh, Travis Hunter retweeted it or, or commented. Someone it. asked him about it, yeah, like practice. He was like laughing. That's, like, oh, yeah. yeah, I, I mean, this picture of him, like funny. big, che yeah, that, that dude, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Mook, the hottest guy bar store. <laughs> so hot, Mook, so hot. Um, My mom's basement has a 300th episode, it's spectacular, that comes out tonight. Pop Punk is going to be at, at uh, University of South Carolina at Bojangles uh, tomorrow night. The dozen 1v1 tournament is Monday through Thursday for the rest of the summer, 7 o'clock. Uh, and Rico has a new call-in show called the Health Healthy Healthy Debate. Healthy, Healthy Debate. Healthy Debate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Healthy one of Debate. the best trailers I've ever seen. Oh yeah, the trailer. I think uh, Jetski made it. So good. Yeah, I don't I know if you guys watched. Is it. it like a sports debate thing? Uh, I think he's gonna like take calls basically. Like, okay. It's gonna be a call-in show, but just like the the it was like you know a Rico through the years hype video. It was oh uh, you know I what love we should do show. is the is the power rankings out? No. Oh, they, they, that's they, Friday, they, right? Friday. Oh okay. All right. Well, uh, power rankings drop tomorrow. Uh, we'll see who, who the big winners and losers are. I'm sure Nate has quite the opinions. Uh, to... I, got, I got an idea who's going to be number one. <laughs> who do you think is going to be? Clemmer. Oh, okay. I, I thought, I thought <laughs> I, I'm thinking that he's going to throw against so obviously Clemmer that he's going to like throw a curveball. Yeah, that's the nice... Now, the real question is, will he say who the big loser is? Because if Clemmer's the big winner, <laughs> naturally the other side of the coin... So we'll be find anyone. out. We'll find out how, <laughs> how legitimate. Could be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into the power rankings to find out. We'll see you guys on Monday at noon. You're gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me how to do the list. Eat a burger. You want, eat and a burger. Put it to, you ate put it to rest. Do it. Now we know. Daddy's at the wall burger until eight hours, and Daddy's watching XXX down in the fucking basement. Get that out of my face. <laughs> but you punch the burger? I'm going to throw it. Did Definitely. you go to therapy? Yes. Yeah, we changed it. We're back up. Come on. Dude, you got, you you got, got a lot. You got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. <laughs> We've seen him in two places.